You value organization and are diligent in keeping on top of your network. How do I know? You set up your network using Cisco Business Dashboard. Now you want to make your network more secure and efficient by creating some VLANs. Luckily, setting up a VLAN is a simple task that can be done right through the Cisco Business Dashboard. In this Cisco Tech Talk, we'll create a VLAN using the Cisco Business Dashboard. Next. We'll kick things off by logging into the Cisco Business Dashboard. We'll enter our username and password, and then we'll log in. Once we do, we'll be able to see the network infrastructure details and the devices deployed on the CBD. In this case, we are using version 2.2.2. For more network details, we'll go to the network menu. Here we can see the branch one network is configured under CBD main office organization. So we'll click on the branch one to see more details. We can see that one Cisco Business 250 series switch, CBS 250-24PP, is connected on this network. We'll click on the View button to access the switch. Once the switch page appears, we need to enter the username and password to gain access, and then click Login. Now that we're in, we can see that this is the model reflecting here on top of the page, CBS 250-24PP. For this example, we are using the firmware version 3.1.0.57. Navigate to the status and statistics under the system summary, and we can see the firmware details. Go to the administration menu and select the Cisco Business Dashboard settings. Under here, we can see that probe operation is enabled on this switch. The probe status shows it's active, and the dashboard status shows it's connected. It's connected to the CBD main office organization, and the network name is Branch 1. We have logged into the CBS switch and verified the network. Let's move on to the VLAN management menu. Navigate to VLAN settings to see the details on the switch. Right now, we can see how VLAN 1 is configured on this switch. Go to the Cisco Business Dashboard and create the VLAN. On the CBD, we'll navigate to the network configuration menu and click on the virtual LAN option in order to create the new VLAN. Under the virtual LANs we found, we can see that VLAN 1 details are exclusively showing. To add the new VLAN, we'll click on the Add button under Virtual LAN. Enter a profile name. We'll enter a new VLAN and organization name by selecting from the dropdown. We'll choose CBD Main Office and Device Group. We'll then select and drag that to the right side. Under the Virtual LANs option, we'll enter the VLAN name and ID details. Remember to save all the changes. We'll then repeat those steps. This creates the job for creating VLAN on the Cisco Business 250 series switch. Now we can see that the job has been created successfully and we'll be able to see the status in a second. Success. Let's move to the switch page where we can see the VLAN. Now we'll just refresh the page on the Cisco Business 250 series switch. Navigate to the VLAN settings, and we can see that the VLAN 10 is now reflecting. The originator is showing as static, and it's indicating that we have created the VLAN via the Cisco Business Dashboard. Click the red blinking floppy disk up top to save our changes. That's it! Your reputation as a conscientious network administrator is as sealed as the VLANs you just created. Thanks for watching this Cisco Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.